Why can't you have your rabbits making love? Because they have cotton balls. Today, I'm going to recap a 2018 action crime film called Den of Thieves. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Los Angeles. An armored truck makes a stop at a coffee shop. Within moments, a team of robbers led by Ray Merriman attacks and tries to break into the truck. The guards attempt to defend themselves and stand their ground, leading to the robbers to kill them. Police officers arrive on the scene and engage in a shootout with the robbers. Eventually, Merriman and his crew make off with the truck, but he reprimands Donnie for killing the first guard. In the morning, Detective Nick O'Brien goes to investigate the crime scene. He has been investigating Merriman and his crew for a while, whereas Merriman holds a grudge with Nick for killing one of his guys. Nick finds Donnie at the bar he works at and makes friendly chat before later cornering Donnie in his car and knocking him out. Nick brings Donnie to a house where his gang of officers interrogate Donnie over Merriman and his plans. Donnie explains that he only got in with Merriman and his crew because he's a great getaway driver and Merriman was impressed with his skills. Through a flashback, we learn that Merriman is planning to rob the Federal Reserve on Friday of that week, with the intention of taking roughly $30 million in unmarked bills that would otherwise get shredded. Nick has Donnie sneak into the Federal Reserve by having him get hired as a Chinese food delivery guy and having him go through the vents to scope the place out. At home, Nick's wife, Debbie, discovers that Nick has been going behind her back seeing other women, particularly strippers. She angrily packs up her things and takes their daughters with her. Despite Nick's pleas to hear him out, Debbie hurls obscenities at Nick and hits him. She later has a lawyer go to his job and serve him divorce papers. Nick spots Donnie at a restaurant with Merriman and his crew which makes them suspicious when Nick calls Donnie out. At their hideout, Merriman has his right-hand man, Levy, hit Donnie and interrogate him to make sure he hasn't been talking to Nick about their plans. Donnie assures him that he hasn't told him anything about the robbery. Nick goes to a strip club and goes home with a stripper. In the morning, Merriman finds him but does nothing, having found him because he set the stripper on Nick to get info on him. Later on, Levy's daughter has a date come over to pick her up for a school dance. Levy pulls the guy aside to introduce him to Merriman and the rest of their crew to intimidate him and make sure he does nothing to hurt Levy's daughter, or else the boy will utterly regret it. When he leaves, Merriman and the guys have a laugh. Meanwhile, Nick drunkenly crashes a small get-together between Debbie and some of her friends. He gets aggressive with one of the men before he is told to leave. Outside of work, however, Nick makes an effort to see his daughter. The day of the heist comes. Merriman and his crew invade the bank and take hostages. Nick and his guys are outside as the chaos unfolds. The chief of police calls and speaks to the bank's branch manager on behalf of Merriman. To prove they are serious, Merriman has one of his guys take a hostage to a back room and shoot her. Merriman tells the manager to tell the chief that they want their large sum of money and a chopper. The thieves then blow the vault open and escape through a hole in the floor before Nick and his guys come in. They also find that the hostage they supposedly shot is still alive, but terrified. Donnie is at the main building to ensure the gang is getting their money. He finds the cash and stashes it in bags. He once again acts as a delivery boy, but he gives the customer a bag of food he left in the vent days earlier. The customer tries to get security to stop him, but Donnie is gone. Nick and his guys catch up to him and capture him, beating him until he tells them where Merriman is going. Merriman has cut Donnie and another guy off the team. As they try to make their escape, they hit a traffic jam and are blocked. Nick and his guys spot them and get out of their cars with guns as Merriman and his guys try to escape. After warning other drivers, the police start to shoot at Merriman and his gang. Levy and the other men are shot dead, but Merriman keeps running. Nick chases after him and shoots him through a fence, wounding Merriman. Nick hops the fence to catch him but Merriman refuses to go out quietly. Although he tries to fight back, Nick shoots Merriman dead. When Nick goes to inspect Merriman's van, he finds bags with shredded money. He also finds that Donnie has escaped custody. Nick later goes to Donnie's bar and sees pictures of him with some of the crew members from the heist. Through flashbacks, we see that Donnie had always planned for everything to go his way, including teaming up with Merriman, switching out the cash bags with the shredded bills, and then escaping and getting away with the money for himself. The realization hits Nick. Donnie is now in London working at another bar. His crew is nearby having drinks and enjoying the spoils of their victory. A man from a shop across the street comes in. 
Donnie serves him and asks if he works at the diamond shop. The man says yes and Donnie gives the man a beer on the house. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching.